Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and it is time for the end of the month show us your sheet load slash happy mail feature. I hope you'll stick around and see what I received in my P.O. box this month. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time to my channel, by the end of this video, I hope that you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and maybe even ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. Each month, I like to stop by and share a look at the cards that I have received in my P.O. box for the month. This originally was just a show us your sheet load feature, but then I started getting cards just because. So today you'll see a variety probably of sheet load cards and just kind of thinking of you or different cards that subscribers have sent in. If you're ever interested in sending me in a card, my P.O. box is always at the bottom of my description box. And if you would like to do a show us your sheet load card, which you can use any month's sheet load sketch, I do have a special video that tells you how you can do that. You can either send it in to me, like you'll see some today, or you can make a YouTube video or an Instagram post. And all those instructions are in that video linked in the description box. I have to say I was so blessed in December. I went to the post office box each week like normal and it was always stuffed full of cards. I cannot wait to start opening these up today to see what each of you has sent in. You know I love to go there and see even just one envelope in that box. And I got so many this month that I couldn't even stack them up on the desk in front of me. So I know that this is going to be a good one so make sure you stick around. Let's see what came in my P.O. box. The first card today is from Sue of Wisconsin, and this card is just stunning. I love the sparkle on that fiber, and the star, I don't think you can really tell it in this first picture, but it was metallic, and it just shines so pretty when you hit it with the right light. Thanks so much, Sue. Mary G of Missouri sent me in this very pretty Christmas card. I just love that wreath. And as you get closer, you can see she just has dots of sparkly glitter around the outside edges. It is just gorgeous. Mary G, you might also know her as Mary Gunn from Craft Roulette. If you haven't already seen the promo video that I shared with you, I'm going to be joining her and three other fabulous creators tomorrow on a special Craft Bowl Live. I will link that promo video in the description box below, and I hope that you'll be able to join us. This next card came from Paige G of Minnesota. You might know her as Stamp Girl here on YouTube. She was a part of my sheet load of cards team through December 2020. She does beautiful work, so I will make sure to link her YouTube channel in the description box below. But I think she knows that I just love vellum. I love the clean and simple feel of this card and how she has placed that circle of vellum over those leaves and behind the sentiment. Thanks so much for sending me a card, Paige. Linda H. of Maryland sent in this adorable Christmas card. She used a December 2020 sheet load of cards, and I am just loving that little focal image. Thanks, Linda, for sending in a card this month. Marsha R. of Florida sent in this beautiful Christmas card. You can't really tell in the photo, but that flower at the top has so much sparkle and shine to it. It's just gorgeous. And she also sent me in a little packet of tea. As I am voicing over this video today and editing it, we're in the middle of a snowstorm. So I will be hunkering down and trying to stay warm so this tea will be perfect in a new mug that I got for Christmas. Thanks so much, Marsha. Stephanie B of Florida sent me this beautiful Christmas card with a nice note inside and a family photo. I just love getting to put a face to some of the names that I see here on my channel. Thank you so much, Stephanie, for sending this in. 
Audrey E. from Texas sent in two sheet load examples this month. The one on the left throws it all the way back to the very first issue of sheet load, June 2019. She said she rescued some scraps with this card. And on the right, she has used the August 2020 sheet load of cards and said she was going for an earthy natural card. I think you completely hit that on the nail, Audrey. I love those vines and that wood panel background. Thanks so much. Beth B. from Indiana sent in this Christmas card with a nice note inside. You might also know Beth as Bourbon Creek Crafts here on YouTube. She is part of my sheet load of cards team and she hosts and participates in some other awesome collaborations. I will also make sure to link her channel in that description box below so if you're not already subscribed you can go do that. Renee P. of Tennessee sent me in this gorgeous Christmas card that uses the November 2020 sheet load of cards. I love those papers and that sparkle around the sentiment. Thank you, Renee. Denine C. of California has sent me in this adorable Christmas card that uses the August 2020 sheet load of cards layout. I am loving that sparkle on those strips and the adorable little image. You might recognize her name from my sheet load of cards collaboration team. She participates on Instagram. So if you're over on Instagram and you're not following her yet, I'm going to link her account below and make sure and go and subscribe to her today for lots of inspiration. Thank you, Deneen. In the next envelope was a gorgeous clear card from Hilda Nell V of California. She made this clear card especially for me because she knows that I love to do that. Thank you so much Hilda Nell for taking the time to send in this card and I am loving all the sparkle on that gorgeous poinsettia. Vicki R. of Illinois has sent in this Easter card that uses a December 2020 sheet load of cards. I am loving the colors and the extra little detail on that scalloped piece. As I mentioned before, we're in the middle of a snowstorm, so I am definitely looking forward to some spring weather. Thank you so much, Vicki. Janice Yu from Texas has sent in this gorgeous Christmas card that also uses the December 2020 sheet load of cards. Not only does she have that beautiful punched border as well, but I'm loving that little stamped bow to help fill up some of that white space on the sentiment. I have to say I love the look of bows, but I am not a fan of using ribbons, so that stamp might be a great alternative for me. Thank you so much, Janice. Naomi H. of Minnesota has sent in a beautiful patriotic thank you card that uses the November 2020 sheet load of cards. I am loving all the gold and that sentiment and focal point in the middle remind me kind of a medal. Thank you so much, Naomi. You might recognize this next card using the December 2020 sheet load of cards. That's because Lisa of California is part of my sheet load of cards design team and she shared a photo of this card with you on the second of the month. I have to say I loved it in a picture, but in person I'm in love with it even more. Not only are those pattern papers fabulous, but I love that how instead of using the rounded rectangle piece for the sentiment, she used that die cut snow globe. Thank you so much, Lisa, for being a part of the team and sending in the card. I will make sure to link her Instagram account in the description box below so you can go see more eye candy from her. Diane A. of California used the May 2020 sheet load of cards as inspiration for her Christmas cards this year. I'm so glad that she took the time to send me one of them with a nice note inside. I love all of the sparkle and the penguin on that focal point just makes me smile. Thank you so much, Diane. Speaking of Diane from California, she actually sent me in two envelopes this month and for some reason I didn't photograph the cards together. So we have another photo from her where she has created this cute winter card using the December 2020 sheet load of cards. I am loving that craft and red together. Thanks again, Diane. 
This next card and little gift came from Teresa R. of Florida. You might know Teresa from the formerly Scrapping for Less store ownership. She did close her virtual doors in December, but she is going to keep creating. I will make sure to link her newly rebranded YouTube channel below, so make sure to go check her out, and if you're not already following her, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Now that little circle on the right, I knew that it was going to be something cool because not only did she use the pattern from my favorite paper line of hers, but she put my name on it. After a little bit of fiddling around, I realized it's a pop socket, a personalized one. How awesome is that? I actually don't have one on my phone, so this will be put to good use. Thank you so much, Teresa. Yvonne K. of Wisconsin sent in two cards this month. The one on the left uses December 2020 sheet load and the one on the right uses November. I love these adorable cards and my most favorite part are those embellishments. Not only are the little enamel dots on the left sparkly and glittery, but those little plastic stars on the card on the right just melt my heart. I need to find some of those. Thank you so much, Yvonne. Jennifer D. of California sent in these next two cards that both use the November 2020 sheet load of cards. I am loving that the one on the left, she has actually kind of stamped a distressed frame in the background, and that goes perfectly with that vintage car paper that she used. And then on the right, you have some fun wintry snowflake paper paired up with that wooden piece, and it all has sparkle that unfortunately the camera doesn't pick up. Thank you so much, Jennifer. Sandy from the UK has sent me this adorable clean and simple Christmas card. It looks like she has splattered some white ink in the background and used some Wink of Stella for some sparkle. And then that wreath focal point is just gorgeous. Now Sandy is also part of my sheet load of cards team and she participates on her blog. I hope that you'll go check out her blog for more inspiration. It will be linked in the description box below. Thanks so much Sandy. Kim W. of Kentucky sent in a slimline Christmas card this month that uses a September 2020 sheet load of cards. I am loving those unique Christmas colors on this card and that little wagon focal point is just adorable. Kim also has a channel here on YouTube. You might know her as Metal Scrap and Chick. I'll make sure to link her channel in the comments below. Thanks so much, Kim. Robin T. of Virginia used the January 2020 sheet load of cards to create this Christmas card. Not only do I love the clean and simple feel to it, but the note inside really touched my heart. Robin, thank you so much for taking the time to send in a card and write that to me. I had a couple subscribers send me a boatload of sheet load of cards this month and Brenda R from Canada was one of those. She sent in these five lovely cards using various sheet load of cards editions and I just wanted to show you a close up on this one. I love all the layers and details on that focal point. Thank you so much Brenda. Karen C. of Virginia sent in two packages this month. The first one contained these seven gorgeous cards using again various sheet loads of card sketches and the next one was a card and a little gift for me. The card in her next package was made using the December 2020 sheet load of cards layout and inside of that cute little Santa Claus bag was a set of four homemade personalized coasters for me. You'll see there she used my logo and I love that background to create these coasters. Karen, thank you so much for your thoughtfulness and this wonderful gift. I have already set my Diet Coke on there while I voice over this video. Thank you so much again. And last but certainly not least was a package from Caressa of the Netherlands. She also sent in seven cards using various sheet loads of cards and she has altered them to fit more of a European size paper. I thought that was really neat. 
Also in her package, she shared with me some love from Lizzie peel-off stickers. I have seen lots of people use those sticky sparkly lines, so I can't wait to try those. And then on the right, she has sent me some dots, kind of like the ones you know I love from Elizabeth Craft Designs, but instead of being clear in the center, it's just a solid color. This blue and gold are some of my most favorite colors. Thank you so much, Caressa, for sending these in. Wow, I am so overwhelmed by all of the love that these subscribers showed me this month. Thank you to each and every one of you for sending in cards and even some little goodies. Don't forget that if you want to find out how to show us your sheet load to check out the video in the description box below and I'll also put it up as a card at the end of this video. Until my next one, which will be tomorrow with the brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.